Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighed in a fight time at 127.2 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, representing HB Fight Club, Ian Holloway! I talked to this guy yesterday, he's so chill. And introducing his opponent, fighting! He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighed at fight time at 126.8 pounds. Fighting out of Santa Ana, California, representing Garden Grove Muay Thai, this is Steven Desmadre Facundo! Yeah, Steven Facundo comes from a good gym, man, so this is going to be a barn burner. All right, this is scheduled for three two-minute rounds at 100... And 22 pounds. Both fighters undefeated at 2-0. and oh, And somebody's O has got to go. The O has got to go. Going down like prom night panties here at Oh, Fighters boy. <laughs> <laughs> Facundo's coming out hot. Oh, he caught him down the middle already. Oh, Holloway's in trouble. He's going to recover. He's recovering. There you go. He's back in it. Facundo's firing. He's reaching very long with those punches. Yeah. Nice kick exchange between both these guys. The Facundo looks like he has that punch that comes across the ring. He's got yeah. an incredible reach on that. And it's coming from his chest, but he's leaning with it, so it's, it might be deceptive range-wise. Holloway needs to fire more shots off his backside. He's, he's hitting him with the jab, but it's uh, like a machine gun jab. I don't know how much pop is... Uh, on it after the first. What I don't like about Holloway, he keeps adjusting his headgear. And there's something yeah. going on with that headgear where he, he's not able to fire. He keeps touching that headgear. Nice. Yeah, the headgear sliding up on him. You can see it might be affecting his vision. Facundo looks a little... There he goes. He looks a little winded from the earlier exchange. Nice knee. Nice knee by Holloway. Holloway's found the body. Yeah, he's tiring him out. Smart. He's trying to hit him in the body. Nice to up top. Yeah, Holloway's found his range now. It seems like Holloway's more of a rhythmic fighter as Facundo was explosive. Nice, T. Nice punch. Keep it going. Yeah, he's just going forward now. Nice Superman punch. <laughs> nice oh. Back fist. Nice, yeah, nice, nice rally there. I mean, Facundo started very strong. Holloway came up, found his rhythm, found his distance, found his mark. Man, this one is. Yeah, I, I, I knew on paper it was going to be crazy because of uh, seeing these guys fight. But uh, I really admire how Holloway uh, weathered that initial storm. And then came back with some good technique and timing off his rhythmic movement. Uh, Facundo started hard, man. He hurt him early. And then uh, I think the overreaching uh, started uh, not only <laughs> making him get hit in the body more, but uh, it tired him out. A lot of extra movement for a length he already has. Well, if you're joining us, this is the third bout of the evening on Fighters Rep number 16. As presented by our promoter, George Francis, David Huey here, alongside the urban legend, Chris Coley. Yeah, man, Holloway is already trying to get past his coach. Like, let me get in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. high kick by Holloway. He's found his southpaw rhythm, man. When, yeah. Facundo's... Yeah, he's overextending with those punches. And he's getting caught in exchanges like these because he's overextended or he's leaning too far back. Nice body shot. Nice body shot. He's tiring him out to the body. I really like Holloway's movement, man, how he's going in and out. He's trying stuff. He's using his power side leg as a south pole. Oh, inside with a snap. Nice trip inside. That's some, that's some good southpaw stuff, but 
Uh, I don't know if that was a, if that was legal <laughs> with the kickboxing rules, but it was nice. Ooh. You must be watching my YouTube videos, man. You better leave me alone, Holloway. Well, Holloway's very methodical, keeping his composure, keeping his rhythm. Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, he's, nice. He's comfortable now. Look at that. And he, he is comfortable. He's able to launch that spin kick, and although it didn't connect, he's feeling comfortable, yeah. feeling in the groove. He can do something like that and take risk. Yeah. He has to, uh, he has to, I would like to see, I wouldn't say has to, not my business, but he has to get more pop on that jab. That jab is long and strong. He just has to uh, use that back leg to get it going. If instead of being flat, you know, pivot on that with that with the jab, point now, that foot towards him. And it looks like he did make that headgear adjustment on Holloway. Haven't seen him reach up to adjust that, so good job on the corners. Yeah, Mercurio's no slouch, man. He's been in the ring and cage. Holloway smart to work the body and then go back up to the head. He's trying to take the end of the round. Facundo's tired, man. Those body shots really worn him early. And we see bouts like this. We see conditioning come into play. Chris, how yeah. much do you run when you train for a fight? Do you... Uh Okay, do, do I tell you the truth or a lie? <laughs> How much do your fighters, not you? Okay, <laughs> ooh, man, he put me on the spot there. Uh, <laughs> for uh, our guys, man, it's a minimum of, of uh, three to five miles a morning. Uh huh. And that's before they rope and before they do their bag work and they get into the actual curriculum of class. They got to go out there and get the sun on their skin and get their, the wind to their back and get those lungs and heart pumping because uh, that's what hardens the body for exchanges like these, you know? The legs being tough, you having wind in the lungs. Um, I, th I think a lot of these guys nowadays, Mr. Huey, are uh, on the elliptical too much than they need to be, <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Gotta beat the pavement. All right. Have a little timeout adjustment on Ian Holloway's headgear. Finally, it just took him three rounds, guys. Come on, <laughs> help the guy out. He's trying out here. Oh, man, they're right back at it. Facundo came out. Oh, he's trying, which would be smart. It would be a big roundhouse kick followed with a, a lead hook inside. But Holloway is picking him apart with his uh, just timing of his strikes. He's kind of planning before he throws. He has a chance to kind of breathe. Facundo's still dangerous. Oh, he's, he's going for that knee. He wants it. <laughs> That's the second attempt in that. Uh, your own style uh, knee. Yeah, he's, he went ortho on him. Went back to Southie. And the kid's trying stuff now. He's going to the body. Nice body shot over the hook. Look at this. That's smart, man. They're, they're noticing that his cardio is down, so <laughs> they went straight to the body. <laughs> One minute remains in this third and final round between Ian Holloway and Steven Falcundo. Yeah. Nice punch exchanges there. Look at that. Chaining the uppercut off the jab and trying to land another one. Now he's popping with that jab. Oh, and a high teep. Yeah, he just has to bring it back to his face after. There you go. Yeah, Facundo's gonna get eight alive if he doesn't get those elbows to the body. Well, there's no quitting Facundo. There is no quitting Facundo. But I'm gonna tell you, man, he's running a he's running on less than a quarter tank right now, baby. And body shots are taking it out of him. Ten seconds left. And Holloway oh. pouring it on. Oh, smart. He wants that knee so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got some punches in at the end yeah. on the land. Good job there. Good job, Ian Holloway, man. That was, a, that was an entertaining performance against an undefeated fighter. And it was like he took that man's O. He wanted, to, he wanted to land that knee so bad, Mr. Huey. He was shaking his head about it. He was well, mad about it. We all need a highlight reel on that yeah. one. But. You see, that's what I tell the guys. You got to create those highlight moments with the basics, you know? Get a guy hurt with a good, nice knee. Nice knee, oh. yeah. 
And look at him, man. He, boom, protecting the wrong thing, and, and he left something open. And instead of uh, firing his... chance to perform to get their names out there. Wow. Good, smart fight for him, man. It's a tough opponent. Well, Ian Holloway improves to 3-0. and Steven Facuno drops to 2-1. and But you know what? I like to see this fight run back again when Steven has a full camp. Yes. But tonight belongs to Ian Holloway. Congratulations on your third undefeated victory. Yeah, I would like to see that one in, uh, with a full camp. Truth be told, Mr. Healy, <laughs> to see that one again. Still coming up at 170 pounds, Andre Gonzalez fighting out of Janjera West. And Hunter Hackett out of Dynamix MMA. That's coming up for you in our fourth bout of Fighters Rep in number 16. Look at me. 